Okay, so this lesson is all about moving vessel. If a mass of fluid is moving with constant speed or uniform velocity, so may figure tayo dito na may truck and then may laman siyang liquid. So hindi natin alam kung anong kind of liquid siya. But we can see na may inclination yung ating liquid if yung ating truck is nag-start na siyang mag-move. So sa kanyang movement, may acceleration tayo. If the truck has a constant speed, meaning same yung final, tsaka yung initial na speed niya or uniform velocity, it means wala siyang acceleration. Okay? So pag wala daw siyang acceleration class, then we will treat it as a static fluid. So meaning yung equation natin, of our fluid pressure, which is the gamma times the height or ang fluid force, which is equal to the gamma of the liquid times bar H times the area. Now, pag meron naman siyang acceleration, therefore, we need to treat it as special. Okay? So, in order to treat it na magkaiba sa, sa fluid statics, we will create a force or free body diagram. Meron tayo ditong normal force, meron tayo ditong reverse motion, which is equal to the mass times acceleration. So, ito yung opposite reaction mo if yung movement ng truck mo is pa-forward. So, diba, in every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, this is the opposite reaction that is acti acted upon on the mass of the liquid. So, it is mass of the liquid times the acceleration. So, syempre, lahat ng matter is meron siyang weight. Therefore, i-compute din natin siya, which is equal to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity, which is your force vertically. So, your force horizontal is the reverse effect force, which is mass times acceleration, and the horizontal, horizontal motion with respect to the normal force. Okay? And meron pa pala tayo dito ang vertical na force due to the normal force. Okay? And itong normal force natin, Ang angle niya dito with respect to the vertical axis is theta, which is the inclination of our liquid surface if ang truck natin is magsistart na siya ng movement. Now, we have here the formula for our motion in our free body diagram. Weight is equal to mass times the gravity. Reverse effective force, which is equal to mass times acceleration. And we have here N as a normal reaction force. Now, if magkakreate tayo ngayon ng ating force triangle. Okay. So, we have here the theta, which is from the inclination of your liquid surface if your truck will begin to move. And then, meron tayo ditong weight which will be your adjacent side with, with respect to the theta. And you have here the reverse effective force, which will be your opposite side with respect to your angle theta. Now, if hahanapin natin yung value of the theta with respect to the sides, it will be opposite over the adjacent which is equal to the tangent theta equal to opposite REF all over W or the weight from the Sokotawa formula. Okay? So now our, our REF is it, it is equal to mass times acceleration all over mass times the gravity. 
Now, maka-cancel out natin yung mass dito kasi same lang naman yung mass ng ating liquid na nasa loob ng ating truck. Therefore, ang final natin dito na formula would be tangent theta that is equal to acceleration all over the acceleration due to gravity. Itong acceleration dito, ito yung movement ng ating object or yung ating vessel. That's why meron tayo ditong tinatawag na moving vessel. Kasi nga, nag move yung lalagyan ng ating liquid. Itong acceleration, ito yung acceleration due to the horizontal motion. Itong G, it is the acceleration due to the gravity, which we know it is always equal to 9.81 meter per second squared. Unless na lang if binigay sa problem that your acceleration or the acceleration that you're going to use is 10 meter per second squared or 9.8. So, un as long as hindi siya given sa problem, the acceleration due to gravity or the G that you're going to use is 9.81 meter per second squared. Na ito na yung formula na gagamitin natin to know the inclination of the liquid or yung created na inclination of the liquid if mag-start na mag-move yung ating vessel or yung ating truck or kung ano mang kind of vessel na gagamitin mo. The theta must be inclined with the horizontal. Okay? Now, let's have a sample problem. An open rectangular tank mounted on a truck 5 meters long. So, 5 meters to kahaba yung ating truck. And take note, it is open. Meaning, hindi siya or wala siyang, wala siyang roof dito for the truck. Okay? So, open area siya. Okay? It is 5 meters long. 2 meters wide. So, 2 meters daw kalapad yung ating truck and 2.5 meters high. Pero, yung water lang na nilagay sa kanya is just 2 meters depth. So, kasi pag magsastart na move yung ating truck, it will create an inclination and magkakaroon tayo dito mas mabigat na mass sa ating liquid and ma maiipon siya dito sa rear portion or sa likod ng ating truck. So, therefore, there must be an allowance of 0.5. Okay? Para hindi siya matapon yung mga laman na liquid ng ating truck. Ngayon, ang question, ano dapat yung limit na acceleration or yung maximum horizontal acceleration na dapat ma impose on the on the tank okay, para hindi matapon yung ating water. Okay, kailangan may limitation yung bilis ng ating truck or sasakyan. Kasi pag sobra namang bilis, matatapon or masasayang yung laman na tubig. Okay, so the liquid here is water. Therefore, we will use the density which is equal to 1,000 kg per cubic meters or the unit weight which is equal to 9,810 newton over cubic meters. Ang saan ka naman na question, determine the accelerating force on the liquid mass. So when we talk about accelerating force, it is the second law of motion which is force that is equal to mass times acceleration. So, meron na, tong, na tayong mass. Makukuha natin yung mass dito because the mass, it is equal to the density times the volume. Ang wala tayo dito is the acceleration, which is ito yung hinahanap on letter A. And ang last naman na problem, the, if the acceleration is increased to 6 meter per second squared, how much water is spilled out. So, if bibilis daw siya ng 6 meter per second squared, ilan daw yung, or how much daw yung tubig na matatapon. Okay? First is, ano yung maximum horizontal acceleration? Dapat ito daw yung limit 
ng bilis ng sasakyan para hindi matapon yung ating water. So, ano daw yung limit na yon? So, para malaman natin, let's use the formula which is tangent theta that is equal to 0.5 over 2.5 and that is equal to 0.2. So, saan ba galing itong 0.5 and itong 2.5? Okay? So, di ba, based from our introduction kanina, yung theta natin, it is the inclination of your liquid pag mag-start na mag-move yung ating vessel. Now, itong theta dito, it is equal to the theta here if you will have the ratio in proportion for your liquid or maximum height of your liquid. Because the maximum height of your liquid dapat dito sa likod would be equal to the height of the truck. Okay? Kasi pag yung maximum height mo dito of the liquid would be greater than 2.5, therefore, matatapon na yung ating liquid or water. So, therefore, yung in maximum inclination natin is magbibi siya sa maximum height of the truck. Okay, so itong theta here, it is equal to the projected theta. If we have here the 0.5, okay, which is from 2.5 minus 2 meters. So itong 0.5 class, it is the height of the liquid na mag exceed na siya sa original height niya na 2 meters. And saan naman galing itong 2.5? It is using the ratio in proportion. So, we all know, if ito yung gagamitin natin na uh, triangle, which is yung first sa introduction natin. We have here, opposite and adjacent. So, diba? So, ang opposite niya, anong height nito? Diba? It will be 2.5 minus 1.5. Okay, so itong 1.5 class, it is given in the problem. So given niya, given siya na pag magkaroon tayo dito ng movement and maximum acceleration, ang um, create dito na height on the front portion would be 1.5. And on the rear portion naman, it will be 2.5. Okay. So, ang height natin on the rear portion would be 2.5 minus 1.5, which is 1 meter. So, 1 meter all over itong length natin dito, the total length of the truck, which is 5 meters. And that is equal to the ratio sa maliit na triangle. So, itong maliit na triangle, opposite pa rin, or yung height niya, which is 0.5, all over yung length niya dito, which is unknown. Ito yung hinahanap natin. And we have already computed it to be 2.5. Okay? So, therefore, using ratio and proportion, 1 meter times x, it is equal to 0.5 times 5 meters. Therefore, x is 2.5. That's why 2.5 tayo dito. So, pinakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano tayo naka-arrive sa ganitong proportion. Okay? Now, tangent theta would be equal to 0.5 all over 2.5, which is equal to 0.2. Now, tangent theta would be equal to acceleration over the gravity. Horizontal acceleration over the acceleration due to gravity, which is 0.2. And we all know na ang tangent theta is 0.2. So, therefore, we already have to compute for acceleration over the gravity, which is equal to 0.2. And g is equal to 9.81. 
Therefore, A is equal to, or acceleration is equal to 0.2 times 9.81, and which is equal to 1.962 meter per second squared. So, ito yung acceleration natin of the truck, or ito lang dapat yung limit na bilis ng ating truck para walang matapon ng mga water. Okay, kasi naman, open yung ating truck. So, walang tayong, hindi siya naka-enclose or wala tayong roof dito para hindi ma magkaroon ng spillage ating liquid. Now, let's compute for the accelerating force. Ang accelerating force, it is the second law of motion, which is the law of dynamics. Pag may, pag may movement yung ating object or may acceleration siya, the force is equal to mass times acceleration. And ang mass na tinutukoy dito, it is the mass of our liquid na nasa loob ng ating vessel. So in order to compute for the mass of the liquid, you will equate it to density of the liquid times the volume of the liquid. So, di ba ang volume of the liquid class? It is length times width times height. So, ang length ng ating truck is 5 and ang, ang ating width is 2 meters. Ang ating height is just 2 meters. Kasi ito lang yung depth ng ating liquid before, before nag-move yung ating truck. Okay? So, therefore, we have here the force, which is equal to the mass, that is equal to density, na 1,000, because this is the density of the water, times the volume, which is 5, times 2, times 2, times the acceleration, which is 1.962. Therefore, ang force is 39,214 newton. Okay, so, now, ang hinahanap natin ngayon is itong letter C, which is, if the acceleration is increased to 6 meter per second squared, how much water is spilled out? Okay, so, ang gagawin natin dito, class, for letter C, this will be your assignment. Hahanapin nyo yung volume of the spillage. Okay? Ha, paano nyo siya mahanap? Iko-compute nyo muna itong theta. If the acceleration is 6 meter per second squared. Okay? And if mahanap nyo yung theta, you will create an imaginary triangle here and you will compute that volume. So, i I-subtract nyo yan siya sa original volume of the water. So, that's how you will get the water spillage. So, this is regarding or this, this problem is for the open tanks. What if closed tank? Okay. A closed horizontal cylindrical tank that is 1.5 meters in diameter and 4 meters long is completely filled with gasoline. So, specific gravity ng ating gasoline that is 0.82 and accelerated horizontally at 3 meters per second squared. Find the total force acting on the rear wall and the front wall of the tank. So now, dahil hindi natin uh, compute dito, or hindi na, unlike dito sa ating first problem na yung inclination natin is within the tank. So, ito naman, wala kang inclination dito within the tank kasi punong-puno yung ating tank. Completely filled with gasoline. So, all you have to do is to create an imaginary inclination of the liquid. Which will be your hydraulic grade line. So, ito yung nasa drawing natin. Itong imaginary na inclination of your liquid, if the time na mag-move na yung ating truck, okay, would be like this. Okay? 
So, meron tayo ditong y, which is hindi natin alam kung gaano kataas yung liquid natin on the rear portion pag mag-move na yung ating truck. And then, we have here the 4 meters for the length. And ang theta natin dito, that would be the inclination, which is equal to the tangent theta equal to acceleration horizontal all over the gravity. Okay, acceleration due to gravity. Now, ang hinahanap kasi dito, class, is the total force acting on the rear wall. So, when we talk about force of the liquid, we will use the formula gamma of the liquid times the bar H times the area of the surface or the plane surface. Now, we all know ang plane surface natin dito is a, is a circle and madali nang makukompute yung kanyang center of gravity which is just the half of the circle. Okay? So, yung radius niya is 0.75 so, 0.75 plus y, which will be your bar h. Para makompute natin yung force sa rear wall. Ang hindi natin alam dito is yung y. Okay, in order to compute for the y, which will we have the uh, theta here, hindi na, di na natin alam. But we know the formula, therefore we will use the known formula, which is tangent theta. That is equal to acceleration, horizontal acceleration, all over the acceleration due to gravity. Now, ang tangent theta, that is equal to opposite over the adjacent. The opposite side over the adjacent side. That's why meron tayo ditong y over 4. Okay. That is equal to the acceleration, horizontal acceleration, which is given in the problem, na 3 meter per second squared, all over the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81. Now, dahil isa na lang yung ating unknown, using cross multiplication, malalaman na natin yung value ng ating y, which is 1.223 meters. Now, if malalaman na natin yung ating value ng ating y, then we can add the y with the center of gravity of our rear area, rear portion of the tank. So with that, makukumpit na natin yung total force acting at the rear wall. Okay, so we have here 1.223 plus 0.75 for the bar H. And then, our bar H would be 1.973 meters. Now, at the rear wall, we have here the force at the rear, which is equal to the gamma of the liquid times bar H times the area of the plane surface, vertical plane surface. Now, ang gamma natin dito kasi it is an oil, so therefore, it will be the specific gravity of the oil, which is 0 0.82 times 9.81, the density of the water, I mean, unit weight of the water, times the bar H, or yung location of the center of gravity of your plane surface to the liquid surface, imaginary liquid surface, times the area of the vertical surface, which is the area of the circle. You have pi over 4 times 1.5 squared. Now, pa compute na natin ito, we will have the force at the rear wall, which is 28.05 kilonewton. Now, paghahanapin naman natin yung force at the front wall of the tank, which is here, itong ating... Um, circle here. So, itong force dito, class, dahil punong-puno yung ating tanke. So, therefore, we will analyze here as yung liquid surface natin is nandito. Okay? So, therefore, from 
the liquid surface here up to the center of gravity of the circular tank, it will be just half of the circle itself. Okay? Ang, ang ating bar H. Okay? Kasi naman, hinahanap natin yung ating bar H, right? So, at the front wall, we have here the force at the front, which is equal to gamma of the liquid, which is equal to bar H times the area of the circular tank. So, ganun pa rin. We have here the gamma of the oil, which is 0.82 times 9.81. And ang bar H natin, ito yung center of the gravity of our circular tank. Kasi nga, di ba, yung analysis natin, punong-puno siya ng gasoline. So, therefore, wala ditong space. Okay? So, therefore, your liquid surface mo mismo is the edge of your circular tank. Okay? So, divide 2 mo lang siya because that is the center of gravity of our tank. And we have 0.75 times the area of your vertical plane surface which is pi over 4 times 1.5 squared. So your force at the front wall is 10.66 kilonewton. Now, what if naman my inclination? Okay, moving vessel pa rin, pero my inclination. So if my inclination tayo dito, class, May angle din tayo for the inclination in the surface. So, kanina wala tayong angle for the surface. Kasi wala inclination of the surface. May inclination lang sa ating liquid. Pero sa ating surface na dinadaanan ng vessel natin or yung truck natin is pure horizontal lang kanina. So, ngayon naman, may inclination tayo which we call alpha. Okay, the inclination of our vessel with respect to the horizontal line. Okay? So, di ba, ang definition natin ng theta kanina, it is always inclined with the horizontal line. So, ito, if supposing magkaroon tayo ng inclination sa ating liquid na dala or dala natin na liquid, so, it is always parallel with the horizontal line. Ito. So, we have theta here. So, may normal force pa rin tayo dito. Wherein yung theta niya is from the inclination of the liquid, uh, liquid na dala. And we have still the weight. And ito naman class, yung... Reverse effective force natin, mapapansin natin may inclination siya na alpha. It's because ang REF natin, it is always parallel with the surface kung saan dumaraan or saan ang direction ng ating track. Okay? So again, the theta in line siya with the true horizontal line. Ang ating alpha or ang ating REF is in line siya sa alpha, which is the inclination okay, of your truck. And ang REF natin, it is always parallel with the surface kung saan dumaraan yung ating truck. Okay? So, parallel siya sa surface. Yung theta naman natin, parallel siya with the true horizontal line. Okay? Tandaan natin to siya. Now, same forces pa rin and we can create a force triangle. So, sa force triangle natin, class, dahil naka-inclined yung ating reverse effective force, kasi nga, naka-inclined din yung ating vessel, may dalawa tayo ditong components for the acceleration. We have the X component of the acceleration and the Y component of the acceleration. So now, for the components of our acceleration, ang x component natin with respect to the alpha would be acceleration times cosine alpha. 
So, ito yun, yung x component ng ating acceleration. Yung y component naman ng ating acceleration would be acceleration times sine alpha. Ito. Now, if i-create na natin yung ating force triangle or force polygon, we have here the tangent theta. Ito, yung theta natin. Kasi yung theta, it is the most important part in the problem kasi malalaman natin kung gaano kalaki yung inclination or effect ng acceleration sa ating dalang liquid. Okay? Or yung laman na liquid ng ating vessel. So we have here opposite. Okay. Opposite over the adjacent. The ch tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, ang opposite natin dito, we have mass times acceleration horizontal. So, dahil ito yun siya, so kunin mo, mo dito yung horizontal component of our REF, which is mass times the horizontal acceleration. So, that's why we have here. Then, ang adjacent side naman natin, class, we have here the y component of your REF plus the W. That's why you have here the W, which is the mg, plus the y component of your REF, which is equal to mass times uh, vertical acceleration. So, ipapalabas mo na ngayon yung mga mass. So, dito, you have the common variable m. Papalabas mo and then maka-cancel out. And what remains would be tangent theta, which is equal to horizontal acceleration all over the acceleration due to gravity, plus or minus the vertical acceleration. Okay? So, may dalawa ka ditong vertical acceleration due to the gravity and yung acceleration, vertical acceleration of your moving vessel. Kasi nga, may inclination tayo. Pag may inclination, may y and x component. Mapapansin natin na positive or negative, magiging positive yan siya if upward motion yung ating vessel. Pag downward motion naman, negative yung gagamitin natin for this sign here. Let's have a sample problem. So, a vessel containing oil is accelerated on a plane inclined 15 degrees with the horizontal at 1.2 meter per second squared. Meron tayong oil pa rin na, na laman sa ating vessel and yung inclination niya with the horizontal is 15 degrees. So, ito yung alpha niya. Magkaiba yung theta kayo sa alpha. Yung theta is the inclination of your liquid surface. Yung alpha naman, the inclination mismo ng whole vessel mo. Okay? At 1.2 meter per second squared. So, ito yung acceleration mo. Determine the inclination of the oil surface. So, inclination of the oil surface, meaning yung theta, when the motion is upward or downward. Now, let's write the formula. Tangent theta, it is equal to horizontal acceleration all over the acceleration due to gravity plus or minus the vertical acceleration. Now, if hahanapin natin yung horizontal acceleration, it will be acceleration times cosine alpha. So, alam naman natin na given yung alpha natin, given din yung ating acceleration, which is 1.2. Therefore, masusolve na natin ang ating horizontal acceleration, which is equal to 1.2 cosine 15 degrees. So, for the horizontal acceleration, we have 1.159 meter per second squared. Now, isusolve din natin yung ating vertical na acceleration because we already have the alpha and the acceleration. 
So therefore, we have 1.2 sine 15 degrees. And we have the vertical acceleration, which is 0 0.3106 meter per second squared. Now, meron na tayong mga values for the horizontal acceleration and the vertical acceleration. Meron din tayong gravity. Therefore, mahanap na natin si theta or the inclination of the liquid surface. If the motion is upwards, therefore, positive yung gagamitin natin dito for the denominator. Tangent theta, which is equal to horizontal acceleration all over the gravity plus the vertical acceleration. So we have 1.159 for the horizontal acceleration all over 9.81 plus kasi upward, positive 0.31, which is our vertical acceleration. So the theta that will be solved or computed is 6.53 degrees. So you will just have the theta that is equal to arc tangent. So ililipat mo itong tangent on the other side. It will become arc tangent. So arc tangent yung sa calculator natin 1.159 all over 9.81 plus 0.31. Now, if the motion naman is downwards, therefore, yung denominator mo dito, papalitan mo ng negative. So, you have tangent theta, which is, e which is equal to horizontal acceleration all over gravity minus acceleration vertical. So, you have 6.956 degrees. So, konti lang yung difference of the theta if the motion if upwards or if the motion is downwards. It, okay? 